Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, welcome to your October reading. I feel like there's a few really important things that are happening for you this month. Um, one of them is that you're gonna be feeling very sort of proud about maybe an accomplishment or a new goal that you're establishing. Maybe there's a new connection, a new collaboration. Maybe there's a new project that you're initiating. Something is gonna make you feel really sort of excited and proud about your next chapter, but it also is requiring a new version of yourself to show up fully. So you're gonna be feeling like you need to make some changes to your behavior, your perspectives, um, how you sort of like navigate your everyday life. Um, maybe it's new habitual, like again, behaviors and structures that you're establishing so that you can remain healthier in the mind, healthier in the body. Um, I just feel like overall there's this really nice transformation happening. And I think that that is also connected to this eclipse season because this eclipse season will be activating a cardinal cross, which means all of the cardinal energies will be strongly um, affected. That is you, Aries, Libra, and Capricorn. So if you are noticing that you are feeling a lot of deep transformation, allow yourself to just go with the flow. Don't force anything. Don't fight it. Don't try to stop or delay or throw on pause changes that you feel are required or that you feel are just happening. I feel like the universe is gonna be bringing you a lot of new opportunities for expansion. And I have money also. There's a lot of new money that will be coming your way. Um, also, you're gonna be thinking about how you wanna be investing some of that money. So maybe you, know, you get a big chunk and you wanna take a little bit and you wanna establish something new or you want to um, even like hire um, like a gym, you know, trainer or a coach or, um, a spiritual healer or someone. I just, I feel like advice from experts, from the right people will also be very helpful for you. Um, because there's a lot of teamwork, but there's also a lot of you needing to rely on other people. So if you lead a team, if you work on a team, if you have the resources to hire a team or to ask for help, or maybe you're just trading favors. You support them, they support you, but right now you're asking for them to support you more than you can support them because I feel like there's a lot of maybe heavy lifting or there's just a lot of things that need to be done. There's a lot of things that need your attention and um, they need support, they need fixing, they need establishing, they need like just support and resources and you can't do everything yourself. And I know there's this like motherly instinct to want to take care of everyone, but you need to prioritize yourself and take care of yourself right now. I also feel like when you are more healthy in the mind, the body, the soul, then everything else just kind of flows. And that is only really achievable when you are asking for help because you can't do everything yourself. I know you can probably do it better than a lot of other people. I know you can probably actually do it all yourself, but now you're noticing it's not healthy for you and you don't want to continue to carry everything on your back. It's like, ugh, like it's getting exhausting, you know? So I also feel like when you need to ask for help, get out of your head. Stop thinking that other people are going to think you're like a burden. They're not going to think that you're annoying. It's like, just go for it. You definitely need more rest um, and you need a break. I feel like there's been a lot of stuff that you've been doing. I have a King of Wands here reversed. I also have a Six of Wands, a Three of Coins, a Ten of Coins. So I feel like there's a lot of opportunity here for like you to take a break and to ask other people to you know take on some of the responsibility. I feel like a lot of you have maybe, again, hired or agreed that other people will help you or, or they'll do something. They will play a role in this situation somehow, but like you still feel maybe the need to like micro manage everything that's connected to your sense of control that you need to just release you need to surrender you need to trust that the universe is bringing you the right people and that they are capable of helping you so it's like trust them trust them and see what happens um of course there's always going to be things that need to be you know adjusted or tweaked or fixed or whatever but that's just part of the process and that's helping them learn how to do something better so that you can later on take more time for yourself so it's like really turn it over to other people and just let them fail let them find success let them do their thing and you just observe and and take a break a little bit more okay um whew. Some of you will be connecting with, I have Pisces and Virgo energy here. I'm also feeling like you need to 
play more like in the dream world. Like you need to be playing more with your inner child. You need to be having more fun just to do it, not to learn how to perfect something, not to become a business, not to like whatever, level yourself up. Like, no, it's just, just go, you know, like rock climbing, go hiking, go swimming, go painting, go do pottery, go like learn how to, how to cook something. It, it's like, you need more time for yourself to just experience flow and you can't experience flow if you're distracted constantly thinking you need to manage and do everything for everyone else because you're not trusting that they can do it themselves. It, it's like this program in the mind, it needs to stop. And this eclipse season is going to force you to really start letting go of that because you can't continue to relate to the world around you like that. Like you're the only one who knows how to do it. Like you're the only person who can do it properly. You're the only person who can get the job done correctly. You're the only person who everyone needs to rely on because they can't do it themselves. Like whatever these old ideas, these old programs, like you need to, you need to become more independent and free. You need to like detach from all these expectations that you hold, that you think other people hold for you. Like I bet if you actually sat down and asked some of these people, do you actually expect me to do all these things? Like some of them would say like, no, you just always kind of take over or like, no, you just like want to be involved or no, like we can figure it out and maybe it'll take us a little bit more time because like maybe you are, and, and I'm sure you are brilliant and you have a lot of ideas and you have that strong intuition that guides you, but like start using that for your own benefit and not only to help and direct and support and fix other people's shit. It's like, you know, there's some things that you need to be doing for yourself. And I feel like there's this deep transformation. You're trying to figure out how you want to be investing your time, your energy, your money moving forward. But you can't do that if you're not taking enough time for yourself to just slow down and listen. Instead, you're constantly distracted by doing everything for other people or micromanaging everything. So it's just like, like this cycle needs to break. Um, this full clip, ah, this eclipse season is going to help you break that cycle. What's really important is that we just also finished a full moon in Aries. This was a few days ago. So I have the moon card here, okay? This is also a card that represents the eclipses. You can see the eclipse happening, okay? We just had the last super moon of 2023. We also just had the last full moon before eclipse season. Why is this important? Because it happened under the sign of Aries. It will affect all of us though. And especially you again, because Aries activates that cardinal cross, which means that you, Capricorn, um, Libra, and Aries will feel it the most. If you have like your Venus sign, your Mars, um, your sun, moon, or rising is one of those four, Aries, Libra, Capricorn, or Cancer, then it's like you need to use this energy. That's also why these eclipses are so important for you because we, and I say that because I'm also, I have a lot of placements in cancer. It's like, we have so many opportunities coming. Like this seven of cups, it's really showing us how we can be finding big, big, big success. Money, resources, that six of wands is saying other people are gonna be recognizing your, your skill, your hard work. It's like, but you can't, focus on expansion if you are still holding on to these old versions of yourself. Those old identities, those old characteristics, personality traits can be that micromanagement, can be um, expecting everyone to expect everything from you. It's like all of these things, like they need to go. And this full moon in Aries was asking you to stand in your power in a new way and to rewrite your main character energy, to rewrite a new story and to re-identify yourself in a new way by taking action, establishing new behaviors and going after this new life, this new story, this new version of you. And I feel like you've already felt that person inside emerging over the last while and this full moon is really kind of forcing you or asking you to stand in that new chapter now you also need to let go of all of those 
things, like the old characteristics, the old personalities, the old ways of doing things that are connected to your old identity. That's why this is so important because it's an Aries full moon. Aries is connected to the first house in modern day astrology. And the first house is connected to who you are and how you show up and how you identify. So whatever you've been doing up until now, that was required for your journey up until now. And now moving forward, a different version of you is required moving forward for a new story, a new chapter. So it's like, you need to use that energy. This is saying we're also letting go of old, like heartbreaks and pains and sadness and disappointment. And it's like, yes, maybe you'll feel them coming up. Maybe you'll feel that internal conflict, but it's coming up so it can be released because that version of you doesn't serve you moving forward. So this Knight of Pentacles, like this 10 of Cups reverse, right? So that 10 of Cups reverse is saying, there are all these disappointments and things from the past that didn't work out. And honestly, they didn't work out because there's something better coming for you. But like that Knight of Pentacles is saying, we need to invest and plant the seeds for a new version of ourselves to emerge. This Two of Wands, Two of Wands, it's like we're dreaming about the future. So this is beautiful, but like, you need to use that energy. If you haven't watched the Full Moon Workshop, go watch it after this. If you're still here because you're like, wow, this is resonating, then like go and watch the workshop. It's free, you can pay whatever you want, but like you're also, you're really noticing that you need to start budgeting your time, your energy, your money in different ways, and you can't continue to give everything to other people. I feel like you don't wanna be explaining yourself. You don't need to be feeling more obligated to connect with other people. You don't need to be feeling more overwhelmed with everything happening. You have enough on your plate and you need to just figure out how to take more time for yourself right now because this eclipse season is gonna be shifting a lot of things. So if you haven't watched that workshop, I strongly suggest you go watch it now. Um, you can click on the link in my bio and watch it anytime. You can pay whatever you want. It's donation based, I don't care. Like literally pay $1, but just watch it. It's under 30 minutes, it's a home video. It's really helpful. It includes an energy clearing also. But like this is really important because it's that last super moon of 2023, which means it's closer to the earth. It's more powerful. And this is the last full moon before eclipse season. So whatever you're trying to let go of, whatever you want to establish, you need to do it now. Because if you don't, when we go through this eclipse season, you're going to continue to carry all of the same bullshit that you've been carrying for the past six months. And then you won't have another chance to drop it for another six months. So it's like, go now, okay? I love you, Cancer. I'll see you very soon. Share this on your Instagram story. Also, please, I show up literally every month to help you. So just help me tell other people that these are available for them. And I'll see you very soon. Okay? Ciao.